Alright, this video is about Bruce Lee's favorite wrestler. Uh, there's a video that I saw on YouTube maybe about a week or two ago and it said something about interesting facts about Bruce Lee um, and it mentioned something about him being a huge fan of Muhammad Ali which I knew about but then something that it mentioned that I never heard before he said that this other guy, I forgot the guy's name, that was Bruce Lee's favorite wrestler and he was like an undefeated wrestler and all that so um, with that little bit of information um, it just got me to want to make this video to share my thoughts on that because um, a lot of times in the videos I've said that Bruce Lee wasn't didn't really care much about wrestling and all that um, but based on this information if it is true you know my feedback on that um, reading through all his technique books I mean he has a little bit of everything but mostly all his teachings are a lot of it is revolved around uh, boxing techniques stand-up fighting um, he does have some ground fighting techniques in his books. Um, also looking at his, his movies, a lot of his movies are stand-up fighting, you know. Um, rarely does he does he fight on the ground, um, but he does sometimes. He does highlight some of his skill sets on the ground and what he's capable of. Um, but even so, as far as that being his favorite wrestler, if that is true, um, I don't I, I know I don't know you know I don't I'm not Bruce Lee I can't speak for him but another thing is is that he's a different person even though I'm inspired by him I'm not him you know he has his likes and dislikes I have my likes and dislikes if it is true that he was into wrestling then it doesn't change my stance on how I feel about wrestling and ground fighting I mean I don't like it you know I still don't like it regardless of whether or not Bruce was into it or not I still don't like it you know I have my own um, ideas and philosophies and way of seeing things but another thing that I want to indicate is that you know he could have a favorite wrestler um, it's like me when I was young and then I liked Hulk Hogan but that doesn't mean anything as far as how I feel right now you know um, things change, you know, sometimes people have favorite things and then all of a sudden this, this is not their favorite anymore, you know. Um, for me, you know, I was really into Michael Jordan back then, for example, and even uh, some Cubs baseball player, Andre Dawson, but I don't really pay much attention to them anymore, you know, so things change. So, um, but I think he was really interested in this person because this person was undefeated throughout his entire career. And analyzing anybody who's undefeated in what they do is something that a scientist would do when it comes to discovering the most effective ways of you know, reaching your optimum expression in combat. So it would be good to analyze, you know, and... Um, you know, um, just just analyze like the best wrestler in the world, the best taekwondo person in the world, the best boxer in the world, not just in the world, but in hi history, the all-time greatest in history. You know, um, I liked I like Usain Bolt. You know, he's my favorite track runner. Doesn't mean that I'm a track runner. You know. Um, so he could have a you know favorite wrestler, but doesn't mean that he's a wrestler. Um, and clearly, he wasn't a wrestler. He could have been a wrestler, but he chose not to. He could have been a boxer. His favorite boxer was Muhammad Ali, but it doesn't make him a a, a boxer. And he didn't want to be a boxer. He wanted to be a martial artist. You know, so there was judo back then. He didn't want it to be in judo. He didn't want to be in a, you know, practice Aikido. Um, he didn't want, there was Taekwondo back then. He didn't want to go into Taekwondo competitions. It's clear, you know, that he was in it for the reality of street combat. He kept talking about no rules, no rules. The art of, you know, basically using no limitation as a limitation, not being limited by rules. And I know cage fighting and MMA came after his death but the principles still stay the same, you know. 
cage fighting is still revolved around rules. It's just a different set of rules. And that goes against his teachings. His teachings is for street combat where there are no rules. Using no limitations as limitations. So no matter if it's boxing, wrestling, or cage fighting, those sports are all revolved around rules. And his was something beyond the rules. You know, so if he did have his favorite wrestler, that's fine. You know, um, th but that still does not change the way I feel about it. I feel, you know, I like to keep to the purity of the martial arts as far as the respect is concerned and the way of engaging with another martial artist in, in an artful way demonstrating your proficiency in what you do you know um, the ground fighting just makes everything very um, it dirties things up you know so if you got somebody who's a, a pure boxer you, he can't do anything against a wrestler because they do like opposite things one person likes to fight on the ground another person likes standing up to fight you know so there's pure boxing, but then there's pure martial arts where pure martial arts is that there's no rules. Okay, if there's ground fighting, that's fine, but let's ground fight with no rules. And then you can see the outcome of what will happen if there is such a thing. You know, if you think ground fighting is so effective, then learn to do it without the rules, you know. And then you'll see the reality of how um, combat is on the ground um, when compared to the sport um, type of ground fighting like wrestling and the cage fighting you know there's a different element in survival survival ground fighting that you will never see in sport ground fighting that needs to be understood by the practitioners of martial arts and where to put their energies into as they develop you know and that's something that i know bruce lee was well aware of and that's something that i'm well aware of and there's a difference, you know, so just because Bruce Lee had a favorite wrestler doesn't mean that he himself wanted to be a wrestler. He still was representing the, the real martial arts, and in my eyes, that's what I want to represent as well.